I'm Sam. And I'm Meg. Today we're talking about facelift incisions, where they go and what they look like. They start in front of the ears to lift the cheeks and then behind the ears to lift the neck. Starting in the hair, they curve downward in front of the ear. They then pass behind the nub in a cartilage called the tragus that sticks out in front of the ear. By doing so, the middle of the incision disappears, making the final scar less perceptible. After passing down in front of the earlobe, the incision turns the corner and goes behind the ear. The incision stops in the ear groove in those less than 60, having tighter necks to begin with. This pattern is called a short scar facelift. The hair can be worn up without showing any scars in the back at all. In most others with typical loose necks, the incision turns the corner away from the ear and continues backward into the hair. Finally, there's a short scar hidden under the chin to treat visible muscle cords. For some reason, patients are most concerned about this one, although most eventually don't even remember that they have it. While it might sound like a lot, facelift incisions done carefully and artistically are rarely seen when fully healed.